Hello everyone, welcome to The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 4, Amid the Ruins. Let's begin. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <gasps> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh god, it sounds like it's gonna pick up right where it left off. Yep. Are saying, you're gonna be fine. Come on, come on, we need you. I'm sorry. I love you. Kenny, damn it, man. Come on! No right, time. No fucking right. Of course I had a fucking right. It's the only chance of saving her. Of course, it only ended up making her last moments even worse than they were before, so yeah, that didn't work out too well. Get the fuck away from me. Okay, they seem to be ignoring me. That's good. Kind of. Kind of ignoring me. Get off me. I'm just gonna keep quiet. I am not gonna make any noise. Something there? 
thought I saw something pop out. Okay, there. There we go. I'm gonna stay with her. Watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. Because I think she's going to freak out. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. They're so pity. We'll make a cow catcher. But what? what? Just Okay, just tell me what to do. Okay, just tell me what to do. I have no idea what a cow catcher is. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Okay. Alright, um... <clears throat> just tap her on the shoulders. Excuse me, miss. Fucking Kenny. <laughs> Can he lose anything more than he's already lost? Other, well, I mean, I guess he could lose his own life, but Jesus. First his son, then his wife. And now his girlfriend. Hmm. How far is she along? Is everything alright? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. Yeah, I can't remember how far along she is, or whether she I ever said. I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It no. worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. 
Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah. And? And we'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... What? She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Oh, the ruins. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well... Besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot, but no way we can stay here long term. I told you, that's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny, and he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll, I don't know, snap out of it? God, at this point, who the hell knows? I don't know. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him? Yeah, I should. Okay. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. I knew you'd say that. Alright, let's be a little tough on him. Make him see a reason. Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not 
for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's being a jerk. <laughs> um, not too well. Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, honey. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? I think we should stay well, here. Don't exactly Wait for them. You stepping up to help right now, either. This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them, one way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Honestly, I'm more worried about Kenny shooting himself than anyone else. What the hell does he have to live for? Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, we're here. We might as well look. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're going to get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you got to learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. I think maybe I remind her of her sister. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? 
You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. <laughs> I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just... friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Wait, why would they have good stuff? What do you mean? They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Alright, let's see what you've got on you. Hmm. Hold on to him. Memo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Oh, just the faces of these people that once were alive and well. Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. I feel like something is going to go wrong with these. With these bodies. These glasses. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't Shit. know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem. I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no... Is that...? Ah, oh, shit. It's... Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. Goodbye. Sorry, Nick. No, oh, god damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Uh. 
It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? That's what I'm afraid of. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. Okay, just calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. Okay, we're in. What now? Start by getting a better look. We can't thank you. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. What can I do, Sarah? Alright, let's test out this ice pick. Oh, it's not where you stab him. Stab him in the head. There you go. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Leave me alone. All right, it looks like they're inside of the what is that, a restaurant? Let's see if we can find anything over there. No. It's gonna take some work to get over there. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Alright, let's check out the pickup truck first. I thought you might be gonna do... Maybe we're gonna do something. I looked for the option to maybe stab it, but I didn't see it. Alright, knees first. And stab in the head. Very effective. You, you were right. Thing. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the Mobile interest ball. of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over Why here. Like then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. What What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. Hmm, could I perhaps start the pickup truck? Snap out of it. Could bang on the barricade. Let's check out the pickup truck. We are gonna die in here. Oh, right, the horn. Of course. <laughs> that is definitely gonna work. Let's do it. Good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Okay, uh... Hmm, how can I keep it pressed? Don't have keys. Okay, just calm down. I have no idea why I did that again. It's not going to do anything. Damn it, don't do this. Let's find no, a way to keep it on. Hell? Okay, I need to find something. See if there's something in the back. Uh, completely empty. Yep. Oh, I can't go this way. Hmm. 
Yeah, it does look pretty strong. Alright, there's no point in begging on that. It's not gonna keep lasting. Anything on your body? I don't suppose you're the one that has the key. What are you thinking? I could put him on the horn. Mm, let's search him. We should search him. Not all of them are winners. I guess he's gonna press down the horn then. What are you thinking? Let's just say he fell asleep at the wheel. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Zombie moths to a car flame. What do you want me? It's working. Uh-oh. Knees first. Come on. Whoa, why did it stop? Ah, did he you fall off? Move it. What are you doing? What? It's locked. Right, of course it's gonna be locked. Then try something else. Hey! Are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. All right, shit. Can, can I really kick it down? I don't Hurry. think I'm strong enough. Maybe, maybe I am. Okay, I am. Help me block this. Hurry. Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door... I yeah, the uh, first priority is let's get weapons. out of here. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would've left already, but I... I got Sarah here, and... I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? She wasn't good, was she? Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. That they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Shit. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Yeah. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. <sighs> I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Uh, maybe we can carry her. Uh, let me try talking to her. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? 
We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. You would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find! Okay, uh, there we go. That looks can pretty we good. Can use this? Too it's small? Not big enough. Ah, yeah, shit. Uh, fridge. Yes, yes. The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Okay, too small, too big. Something medium-sized. Uh, the thing you're, you have in front of the door would be perfect. And, in fact, that might be the only God thing. damn it. What? The sideboard! Oh, shit. Clem, you and Luke push. I'll hold this door shut as long as I can. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! All right, let's move that pretty fast. As fast as possible. I uh, kind of wish we had the body of a sumo wrestler Clem, to hold Clem, that door. Help her. Help Jane. Okay, go, go. Keep pushing. Go. First, we need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Oh, she's coming with us one way or another. about what you're doing. You can't save her, Glenn. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> I'm not gonna leave her. Please! Oh, move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! <sighs> Don't bite her foot. Okay. <sighs> We gotta go. Sarah. Come on. I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. 
The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof, and, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? killed me for a long time, but I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety, or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? We need Kenny. Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? Yeah, well, wait, where did he go? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. No. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> I'm really worried about him shooting himself.
We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Yeah, you do. That Come on. baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. I need to give him a purpose. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Oh yeah, the baby's coming. Water broke. Mm. Oh, Is that normal? We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? All right, what do we do? What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but... Thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. It's not a bad idea. It's actually not. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfecting. <laughs> that all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. Alright everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Yeah, I'm safe with Jane. She's she's good, she's smart, she's fast. Not to mention, she actually might take off. I mean, she talked about the group being a liability, and she's giving me advice about that. I really wouldn't be surprised if she did just take off.